so you see these beautiful ladies that I'm with? It must be Chicago. Fire Chicago PD. <laughs> you guys are such strong women on your shows. What is it like to work in that environment, especially because now you're representing something to all these women that are watching? It's it's an honor. It's a really great honor to be portraying, for me, a female firefighter and um, hopefully hopefully be strong on the show and right, be right. an example. And, am I? <laughs> yeah, yeah, very strong. Okay. Ooh, I don't know. But, yeah, I don't know if you... You know, it's hard. I mean, there's a lot of controversy right now with Chicago and the cops and especially. Right. So it's like it's really like a live wire sort of in trying to show that not all cops are bad, but, you know, there are bad elements. Okay. And so, but, like, being a strong woman in the force is awesome and you know there it's there was a girl who traveled from Australia to our set because we inspired her to be a cop and like those are the kind of things that are like great we need more people great people in the forest and so it's good so you're in the seasons three and four of your respective shows uh, what is it like now versus what it was like at the very beginning for these shows I was nervous. <laughs> yeah, I guess a little less nervous. We're, we're a little bit more. We've. I, I was just saying this actually in another interview that since I've been on truck for the past couple of years, I think I found Dossie's identity in the show by way of being a firefighter, not necessarily by way of being a paramedic. Right. right. And so that's been really cool for me. Right. I think you know. You saw my character start out, she was a flight attendant and then start out as a cop and she's like a lot of people come from a family of cops and she doesn't and having to prove herself and be a little more nervous than everybody else and I think she got there. I mean I think she's a little more like, I belong here, don't worry about it. So, and I feel like that as an actor too. Yeah, I mean, yo, seriously. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm ready. Yeah, I feel I feel very um, prepared as yeah. an actor for yeah. whatever may happen. You know, whether we're here for 20 years, whether we get fired tomorrow, whether something changes, right. it doesn't matter. I feel like a very sense, a strong sense of purpose, especially yeah. through the show of like learning that I do want to help portray female stories and right. be strong leading women where we can give other women a chance or a voice. So let's talk about the crossovers. That doesn't happen with a lot of shows, but your shows do do that. Is there any difference when you're on the other set? Like, what's different about oh, yeah. it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're not a, you're, you're a guest in someone's home. Okay. Like, exactly what it you is. gotta be, yeah, it's just, yeah. It, that's exactly what it is. You're right. a guest in someone's home, and you don't know the rules so much, and you're just kind of like, and it's just as fun, but it's, you know, you're just, it's a little different. It's a different tone. It's yeah. like being in, yeah, it's, it's, it, when you're a guest in somebody else's room, or, Room. Wow. <laughs> she only has a room. <laughs> if you're in their room, then we gotta yeah. talk later. Yeah. Right. But if you are a guest in somebody else's house, you're gonna clean up after yourself, right? Exactly. You're gonna follow their rules. And so if you feel that way, because when you're in your own house, you're fine yeah. leaving your Take coffee your and socks, yeah, socks, socks on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you're mindful that of that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys have some really, really hot guys on your show. Sure do. That you work with? Mm -hmm. What's it like working with these hot guys every day? What's it like, Maria? What's um, it like working with these hot guys? Guys. I think it makes chemistry very easy to sort of like <laughs> right. get. It's not like you're like, all right, I gotta churn this one up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's there. Yeah, you get to kiss. If you get to kiss beauty, yeah, it's gonna be a good day at work. <laughs> right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? That. Yeah, I want a shirt like that. Today I got to kiss beauty. Okay. <laughs> I like that. All right, I'll make weekend. it. Hey, yeah. you. Talking about you. <laughs> you guys. So if people haven't watched this before, why should they watch these shows? <laughs> uh. Well, we're on it. Um, <laughs> Do you see how we're in? So, Sunny. not good enough? I don't. <laughs> see, see all this good, good? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, oh, I mean, boom. There's a, so many people in this country come from uh, working class families. Um, there's a lot of first responders who don't get an opportunity to have their story heard. And so hopefully our shows provide a vehicle to start that conversation, to see what these people do every day. And they put their lives at risk for you and for me every single day of their lives. And I think they, they deserve more than just a show. But right now, they got three shows. Right, right. <laughs> I, like, I couldn't have said it better. I think exactly that. And you know, especially with Chicago Cops, I think seeing a better side of them is, is a really good thing right now. I agree.